The lawyer representing Roy Moore told the media in a press conference Wednesday that the bizarre yearbook inscription attributed to his client needed to be analyzed by a handwriting expert. Philip Howraghi went on to imply that the signature was forged. Here's what he said there are a couple of things you need to look at. Look at the 1977 After Merry Christmas, look at those two sevens, Howraghi told the media assembled. And then look below at the 77 and I want to ask you do you think it was written by the same person? I want you to look at Old Hickory House, which they say Judge Moore wrote, he continued. Judge Moore there's no way in the world that's his handwriting. And I want you to look at it, look at some other handwriting of his, make your own determination, that's what our expert will be doing, but for now, I'm asking you all to take a look. Use your judgment. And then finally, after Judge Moore's signature it has the initials capital D period, a period, he continued. Remember when I told you about that 99 divorce action? Judge Moore looked at that D.A. After his signature which they allege was because he was the district attorney, well he wasn't, he was the assistant district attorney. But Judge Moore says he can never remember signing his name with D.A. after it, but he had seen it before, he explained. You know where he had seen it? When he was on the bench, his assistant, whose initials are capital D period, a period, Delbert Adams, would stamp his signature on documents and then put capital D period, a period. That's exactly how the signature appears on the divorce decree that Judge Moore signed, dismissing the divorce action with Ms. Nelson.